Hey guys, so we're going to talk a little bit about Mega Live. Um, I haven't had the opportunity to fish with it much. Today is probably about the fourth or fifth time out with it. But for sure, it's an unbelievable tool, especially when you work it in conjunction with the 360. What we've been doing today is we're fishing offshore, fishing Mauritian Thorn. It's very difficult to actually see. Um, it's really thin stuff. I mean, it can be as thin as a matchstick. But what it does do on the 360 is it, is it casts a nice shadow. So that kind of gives away where it is. And then you basically go up to the Mauritian and scan left or right on it, um, see if there's any fish moving around. And today we've managed to catch quite a few fish um, by just simply getting on top of the, the Mauritian, seeing one or two fish swimming around and then just casting out and in some cases if you're obviously pointing it in the right direction you'll actually see your bait drop down get to the Mauritian thorn and you'll actually feel you know working the bait over the Mauritian and then all of a sudden you'll get a bite but generally what I can tell you is now I watched I've watched quite a few videos of guys using Mega Live and oh check wow there's so many fish there and you know there are but uh not necessarily bass um, what we're finding is we're finding sort of shoals of like say 10 to 30 fish swimming around in some Mauritian bushes and you don't get a bite there so you know that would tell me generally that that's carp some of the bushes you move up to there'll be maybe one maybe three fish swimming around and that's the kind of stuff you target so there's a couple of ways you can do it. Once you've, you know, once you've lined that stuff up on Mega Live, you can either throw a worm in there, or what I like to do is back away from it a little bit, make a long cast with a jerk bait, and get the bait down um, as deep as you can, obviously, and get it to actually bang, bang into the Mauritian thorn, and that obviously triggers a reaction strike from the fish. But yeah, it's it's been it's been a, an amazing few days learning. And I've still got a long way to go. I don't consider myself to be an expert in the in the live field, but you know, just straight off the bat, you know, nothing special. Don't need to set anything. Don't need to mess around with trying to figure out. It's pretty simple. Point it there. If there's fish there, you can clearly see it. If you can't see that there's fish swimming around, then maybe you need to go and play tennis or golf or something. Because it's that simple. You can see the fish there. Um, but yeah, we'll we'll fish a little bit more and we'll try and show you what it you know what it looks like as we're fishing along and hopefully it'll give you some some insight as to what this is all about. Okay, so what we've got is we've got a waypoint there. Um, you can clearly see now if I just pan around a little bit on the on the live, you can see there's the bush there, and you can actually see one or two fish swimming around there. Lob the bait out there. there. You can actually see my bait swimming down there on its way down to the tree. Well, bush, should I say? It's not a tree. Um, but yeah, it's, hard, it's quite hard to show you guys. Obviously, trying to get so close to the to the structure, but um, that's what it looks like. Now you can actually see quite a few fish swimming around there. Um, yeah, the whole, whole shoal is lit up there now, so that's that's probably cop. I wouldn't I wouldn't say that's bass, uh, but hey, you never know. But um, yeah, generally, like I said, there goes my bait. bunch of fish all around it but I'm not getting a bite so straight away that just tells me you know, if there was a bass there we'd be going going tight already
our baits going straight in between them. One or two of them moving around there with it. Fish swimming towards the tree now. But yeah, that kind of gives you an idea of what to expect when you're using Mega Love. You guys can clearly see the fish all bunched up on top of the Mauritian now swimming around. So yeah, for sure. I haven't had a bite out of it yet, so I'm going to put my money on that. That's, that's carp. There they are, pulling my bait up. Let it back down. 